Hey, it's me, Hank, the host of the Death by Media Man podcast channel thing. And today I have something a little different than the normal content that I bring. I got an interview with a couple of fine Vancouver-based writers about their new project, a comic book series called Come Into Me, which is coming out from Black Mask Studios. The first issue of it came out today, and they've got a few other interesting projects coming up. I spoke to them all about it. So, here it is, my interview with Zach Thompson. Hi, I'm Zach Thompson. And Lonnie Nadler. And I'm Lonnie Nadler. Enjoy. So what is the new book? The uh, new book is called Come Into Me. Uh, it's at Black Mask. It is, uh, we've been pitching it as David Cronenberg directing an episode of Black Mirror, and it's our way of exploring uh, the way that we, in Western culture, engage with social media and how we share everything with each other, and we probably share too much of ourselves online. So we're looking at uh, what happens when you share too much of yourself with another person, and uh, it's not very fun for the people who are sharing it. And... Uh, it ends up degenerating their bodies and uh, weird things start to happen to them. Um, so yeah, it's a social sort of experiment uh, and yeah, I don't know, that's, that's pretty much it for the pitch. Who are you working with on it? Uh, we have Peter Kowalski who is doing uh, Pencils and Inks. Uh, he's from Image Comics Sex and he also drew some of the Dark Tower series at Marvel along with a plethora of other things and we have Nico Guardia coloring it who's the colorist on Gravedigger's Union um, and we've been admiring both of their work for a long time and we feel very fortunate to be working with them. You guys are doing it through Black Mask Studios? Yeah, that's right. This is our second book at Black Mask. Um, the first one we did was called The Dregs and um, it was uh, a detective story that took place um, in a very gentrified, an area that's being gentrified and kicking out homeless people and uh, Black Mask took a risk on us and the publisher Matt Pizzolo took a risk on us um, and it really changed all of our lives on that book um, and so we'll, we'll be working with them for a while to come where we feel very happy to have a home there for publishing our comics. And so what's next after coming to me for you guys? So next week, uh, March 21st, we have Cable, or Cable at Marvel. Um, it's going to be a weird body horror kind of riff on the character, and we're going to do deep dives into continuity. So we're bringing back a lot of uh, fan favorite characters like X-Man and um, weird Bishop. Bishop, weird alternate versions of uh, Scott and Jean that we're not really talking much about right now, but it's going to be strange. And we're also creating uh, three new versions of Cable, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Um, it's going to be a little fucking wild, and that hits next week, and then after that... Yeah, and then we have a book coming up from Aftershock Comics called Her Infernal Descent, and that one's sort of our love letter to our mothers and how much they mean to us and to our families, and uh, it's a mother who is uh, going through the nine circles of uh, Dante's hell uh, in order to retrieve the family that has been forsaken there. How did you guys get connected to be writing partners? We, we went to film school together, but I mean... We didn't really meet at film school. We met on the border coming back from Emerald City Comic Con five years ago and realized that we were going to the same film school together in the same program, but had never spoken to each other. Um, Lonnie was holding a, a Jeff Lemire sketch, and I was talking to my girlfriend at the time about Sweet Tooth, and then we just ended up connecting about our mutual love for Jeff Lemire, which yes. is strange because he has a, a pull quote on the back of Come Into Me. Which is a little... It's very surreal. Yeah, it's very surreal. It's a nice arc to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can die now and yeah. I'll, be, I'll be fine. It's a perfect character arc. <laughs> What's your novel? Oh, my novel is called Weaponized. It's, a, it's set in a world where guns are a sexually transmitted disease. It's also a very Cronenberg-heavy influence. Um, it's basically like a riff on uh, like coming of age, but doing it with uh, STIs and... and how we other people who have diseases. You mentioned Cronenberg a lot with a lot of the stuff you guys do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and like the dregs is so heavy Vancouver. Like yeah. it's kind of an overarching question, but like, do you guys feel there is a sense of Canadian identity to the fiction you create? We're definitely trying to do that, yeah. I think it's really important because Canada doesn't really get represented in the art that people create here, and we've made a conscious effort to incorporate Canadian cities and Canadian icons in our work because we think it's really important that um, Canadians have something to latch onto when they want to create art. And to, to be frank about it, I think a lot of Canadian uh, content that uh, does take place within the country is pretty shitty. Um, 
uh, it's there's very few movies that take place in Canada that are actually quality that are renowned either in the country or around the world and that's a real shame because there's a lot of talent in the country and it doesn't need to be like that so following in the vein of Cronenberg someone who set a lot of his movies here and proved that it doesn't matter whether it's set here or not it's just whether or not you're telling a good story an interesting story and attacking interesting social issues and stuff like that so that's sort of what we're taking from Cronenberg's over in terms of being Canadian writers. That was Zach Thompson and Lonnie Nadler. They're writers. They make comic books. They live here in Vancouver. And they're real cool guys. No, it was it was awesome to get to talk to them about their projects. Uh, I was able to speak to them down at Golden Age Collectibles where they were doing a little signing. And that's them talking about their new project, Come Into Me, in stores now. Unless you're listening to this in the distant future, in which case you can probably just get the trade paperback. I've been Hank, and this has been a Death by Media Man interview thing. Yeah, we do those as well. Maybe now? Sure. Why not? For more Death by Media Man content, uh, just tune into whatever the channel is that you're listening to this on right now. Yeah! All right, bye.